Hi everybody, today I will show you WooCommerce product filter plugin tutorial. So let's begin. Alright, so now we will learn to add how can we add the product filter in the WooCommerce. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here I have to search for filter everything. Alright, so as you can see here, I have already installed filter everything, product filter and WordPress filter. So says I have already installed this, so I just need to activate this. And after this, what you need to do, first we're going to have a look at our store and see what do we have got there. All right. So as you can see here, we have this categories and other these options. So we're going to create our own filter here that will be placed here. Okay. So says we have already installed this. That is why we are having this configuration. Okay. But how can you gain this configuration first? So for that, we need to go back and here what we need to do okay so right now i'm not creating the filter i'm just adding how can we place the filter on our wordpress page or the shop page okay so how can we do this that is really easy so we have already installed and activated our filter everything so after this what we need to do we have to go inside the appearance and click on the widgets here all right so in the widgets you can see that we have the different widgets here okay and here we have to search for WooCommerce sidebar. Okay, so I would have to open this and you will be able to see that I have already added filter everything widget here. But right now I'm going to delete this so that we can add this again just to show you. So let's delete this. Okay, so now how can we add this? That is pretty simple. You will be able to see this option here of add block. So we have to click on this and here you have to search for filter everything so now you'll be able to see three different options so we have to click on the second one filter everything filters all right so now our filter is at the top so we have added this filter everything widget into our woocommerce sidebar so now we have to update this now we will go inside the filters and we will create a new filter set okay so you can actually create the multiple different filter set but we can simply create a new one and we'll simply create the filter for our products. Okay. So the first thing that I would need to do is to add the name. So that would be the filter. And from here, we have to change the post type here. So that would be the products since we are doing it for the WooCommerce. Perfect. Now we need to add the filters one by one. Okay. So the first one would be the category filter, or we can go here with the price filter so for the price filter i'm going to write down custom field numeric all right so i will need to write down the meta key here so this will be price and i will add the title of it so let's just write down filter by price range and here i will just simply need to copy this and put it here in the var name and i will just add the underscore here perfect so now let's just publish this Perfect. Now if I just go back to our shop and refresh the page, you will be able to see our filter by range. Okay, so as you can see here, we have added the filter by price range. So I'm going to go back. So I would add a new filter here. So this will be basically based on the product category. So let's just add this. So I'm going to add categories and here I will need to add the var name here for the URL and view in the widget will be the checkbox. So I can also change this into the radio button, labels list, and the drop down. But for the categories, I'm going to go here with the checkbox. And after this, I would like to add one more. So this would be basically based on the product color. All right. So this will also be the checkbox. So I'm going to write down colors. Let's just add the colors and this will also be the checkbox. Let's just add a new filter. So this will be by size, the product size. And one thing that you have to make sure is that you need to have the product color attribute and the product size attribute in your products to enable these filters. Okay, so I'm going to show you that too. All right, so this will be the size. And this will be size variable okay so let's say i'm going to go here with another button so that would be the radio button and i think this would be enough for right now 
so let's click on update and now we just need to go back all right so i need to refresh the page here and now you'll be able to see in our filter we have the filter by price range we have the categories we have the color and we have the size so i'm going to filter the products by category so i'm going to go here right now let's just say with accessories now you'll only be able to see accessories okay but if i just uncheck this all right so now if i just categorize this by the color so let's click on let's say black you will only be able to see the black dress okay so that is how it's going to work that is how we can create our custom filter so if i can go back and let's just say i wanted to add one more filter of the stock in products or something like this so i'm going to open this up and add new filter so this will be by product visibility let's say write down in your stock or something like this all right so here i will just change this into let's say the drop down let's just update this now and go back and now let's just refresh this page and you will be able to see in the stock with the drop down okay so we have one featured so since we haven't added or labeled our product as out of stock or some other values so that is why you won't be able to see it but right now we only have the one featured product so i'm going to simply click on this and now you will be able to see that featured product okay so this is the one so that is how we can create our custom filter so i'm going to go back because i wanted to show you one thing that in the products you will be able to see the categories option and the attributes so if i just click on the categories you will be able to see these different categories here if i click on the attributes you will be able to see the color and the size attribute so if we don't have any color or the size attribute in our products then you won't be able to use those color and the size filter all right so this is how we can create our custom filter on the woocommerce using the filter everything plugin so this is all for this video if you really find this useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel